My calling is to love, lead, feed, seed. And so it's all rooted in the great commandment, to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength, and to love your neighbors yourself. That is my mission, that's every one of our mission, to love God and to love each other. And so that's the front end. And then it's to lead, feed, seed. To lead, to provide strategic leadership, to feed, to teach, to invest truth into the lives of followers of Jesus, and then to seed. Now, I'm not a particularly harvesting kind of evangelist, but I love to plant the seeds of truth in the lives of lost people. I love to engage in my community. I love to relate to my neighbors because I want to represent Jesus in our world. And so that's my mission, to love, lead, feed, see. That, that's why I, I get up in the morning. That's what I think about when I go to bed. That's the mindset I go into conversations with. And that sense of mission, that is something that can be fleshed out in the context of the church. And it certainly will continue to be fleshed out in the context here at Briarcrest. Now what I love about Briarcrest's mission is there's perfect alignment. So when I think of Briarcrest's more complete, full sense of mission, the Briarcrest College and Seminary exists to be a community of, of rigorous learning where, where together we're profoundly shaped by Scripture. We're seeking the Kingdom of God and we're profoundly shaped by Scripture so that we are formed spiritually, intellectually for lives of service. Now as you break that down a little bit, think of it this way. We're all called to be learners because we're all disciples. And we're all called to live in community and that's what we are. We're in a community of learning. We're a community of disciples. And we're all called to seek the Kingdom of God, to seek the purposes of God in our lives and in our world. And then we're called to be shaped profoundly by Scripture. That's what, that's what transformation is all about. That's what sanctification is all about. That's what, what spiritual growth is all about. It's all about letting Scripture change the way I think and then change the way I behave. And then, as we're profoundly shaped by Scripture, th then to be formed for lives uh, spiritually and intellectually for lives of service. Now what's service? Well, when I look at the modeling of Jesus, this is what service is. This is what servant leadership is. Servant leadership is seeing a need and meeting that need. And so as a servant leader, my job is to help you in your area of need. How can I help you become the best person you can become? And so as we produce students, we need to have students who have an eye to seeing needs and a heart that says, I can meet that need. And so as we form students for lives uh, of spiritual and intellectual expressions of service, we're seeing the needs that are in our world and the needs that are right across the street. And so when I look at Barakra's mission and I look at my mission, I see perfect alignment and that excites me. I've been involved in a number of other searches and other organizations and I know how hard it is to find the person that really sort of can put the mantle on and go with it. Michael understands our ethos, Michael understands our vision and is passionate about it. He's the kind of, of a leader that we need to take us forward. Not only is involved in the church, but is also involved with the institution and teaches at institutions, has of course had experience with other institutions when he did his doctorate. So he's coming into this role with all of that experience and all of that, that knowledge. So when you put that package together, I look at it as a board chair and I say, wow, we are very fortunate to be able to find that kind of a package with all of those kind of necessary elements in it to take us forward. 